In every crew, there is a bond, something or someone that holds each chaotic personality in orbit. Someone who represents the middle ground. Someone who serves, even for the leader, as a listening ear. Without this neutral, open party, most groups fall apart. In Edge Runners, that character was Dorio. She was more than just Maine's girlfriend, and she was more than just a mercenary. And she was more than just another unhappy ending in Night City's story. Because Dorio is a symbol of level-headedness, an anchor for her crew's most troubled members. Dorio is a symbol of hope. And when she dies in episode 6, that hope dies with her. We know next to nothing about Dorio's past, but it is safe to assume that she is one of the longest running members of Maine's crew. Dorio is the heart and soul of this messed up, chaotic family of mercs. She is always one of the first people to check if someone's alright, and she's the one who urges patience in a line of work where the hasty die like Julio, and her reliability and care is not unnoticed by Maine, as she is Maine's second in command. We see her go to bat numerous times, even when Maine is not out with an injury, taking charge as she sees fit. Regardless of her past, Dorio demonstrates a very rare kind of caring, something that elevates Maine's crew above the rest. One of the key things to recognize about Dorio is that she has no rivals in her crew. Dorio is that one character who can communicate openly and freely with any other character in the group, and vice versa as well. And this sense of openness is what has helped knit their crew together in the time before David's joining. This goes hand in hand with Maine's philosophy of everybody getting a fair shake. Because while Maine represents the financial side of that philosophy, Dorio represents the personal side of that maxim. She gets involved with David's training and goes without a second thought to rescue him when he's kidnapped by Kurosaki. With Lucy, when she's injured, Dorio is one of the only other characters to express any concern for her. She even sort of jokes with Pilar, which we never see anybody else in the series doing. And she lashes out at Maine, her boyfriend, for nearly killing Kiwi. Maine is not exempt from her wrath. <laughs> Dorio exemplifies the family feel of the group, that warmth that cools drastically after David's takeover. Maine can be brash, aggressive, hasty. We see this upon his first meeting with David. Once David's story becomes clear, Dorio advised compassion in Maine. Maine values Dorio's opinion, and he listens to her. While she may have a comparatively smaller role in the overall story, hers is a role that is just as impactful. Dorio sticks by Maine's side, never wavering. But the strength of her aforementioned influence on Maine is crystal clear as Maine falls deep deeper into cyberpsychosis. When Maine begins losing his mind, Dorio is caring for him, no doubt because of the danger that Maine would pose should she leave, but also because she knows that he needs her. Dorio's presence is one of the only things holding Maine down to earth. When Maine snaps and nearly kills Kiwi, she still stays with him, all while taking the reins of the operation. Dorio is harsh on Lucy when she asks her to take over for Kiwi, and demanding in a way that does not fit her character at first glance. But it makes total sense. The biggest job of their careers is hanging in the balance, the threat of being discovered, should the jammer on Tanaka ever go out, the even larger stressor of Maine's mental break. All these things combine into a messy powder keg. Dorio is handling a lot in this moment, and again, it just makes me think of a mom. <laughs> <laughs> While her own boyfriend is losing his mind, which has to be an emotionally horrible thing for Dorio to have to deal with, 
she stands in as a physical shield from him for others. Dorio goes to him when they are found out by Trauma Team, and she sticks with him while they try to escape. In between volleys of bullets, Dorio injects Main with meds that are intended to preserve his already dwindling sanity, even as he begins to shoot at her, mistaking her for the enemy. During her final attempt to dose Main, as he's shooting at anything that moves, Dorio gets distracted. She is shot by NCPD, maybe trauma team, it's hard to say, but she's not killed by Maine, even though it kind of at first glance looks like it. I personally thought that Maine was the one who killed Dorio for the longest time. When you just glance at the shot of her death for a second, it does kind of look that way. But I actually think the animators meant for this to look as almost ambiguous as it does. Because I believe that Maine thinks he's the one who killed her. After Dorio dies, he has a flash return to reality as he watches her body hit the ground. To me, the look in his eyes says guilt. And Maine is not in the headspace right now to pry apart the details of that scene for himself. After her death, Maine fully gives in to cyberpsychosis as Dorio was the last thing anchoring him back down. His stabilizing force is gone. Dorio and Maine ultimately serve to foreshadow the fate of Lucy and David. Dorio, in the same way that Lucy would nearly do for David, gave her life in an attempt to save the man she loved. While it was bullets that ended her life, the events leading up to her death were exacerbated by Maine's actions in a way that mirrors how David's actions lead to Lucy's capture. Both Dorio and Lucy loved their respective partners and both went to ridiculous extents to prevent the inevitable future that awaited them. Although David did improve on one major thing with his own ending, even if all that led to was a different kind of sad ending. So this point is entering a territory that I have never actually explored before in any analysis, and this is more in scene layout and setting and positioning of characters. Cinematic symbolism. Dorio is laid upon her pyre in a way that makes me think of the Pieta statue. It's a statue of Mary holding the baby Jeebus after he's taken down from the cross. And the symbolism of that pose is, as the art piece's name implies, pity and compassion. I think in Maine's mind, as scatterbrained as he is right now, Dorio died for his quote-unquote sins, so to speak. His own hubris. In laying Dorio's body out like that, like a sacrificial lamb, almost, like Maine was doing his own sort of soul searching here, his own kind of pity surrounding the whole situation. I love it. Uh, I could just be reading too much into it, but it just I can't not think of that. This whole scene anyway is arguably one of the best in the whole show, especially with this image of Dorio on that pyre. This coming fire meant to burn away the last trace of the glue that held everything together. Dorio's pyre is the last moment of calm and peace before the approaching storm. In only a year, all but Two members of Maine's crew end up dead. And in the time leading up to their adjacent deaths, we can feel the lack of warmth in the Edge Runners. Dorio dies in the episode Girl on Fire, and as she burns away, so does what warmth that cushioned our characters from the true coldness of Night City, the indifference and unfairness of life in this hellhole that no matter what kind of person you are odds are you will meet a tragic end thank you very much for watching guys i was very happy to explore dorio's character i think that she's a, she's a bit underrated this lady i make these videos to better help me understand the stories that shape me as a creator and also to maybe help other people out there explore the stories that shape them too. If you are interested, I have a book out, Kaisaria Book One, which is a post-apocalyptic novel. <laughs> no, 
the plugs will get more, it's getting more unhinged as I go. My sister designed the book, so that's why it looks so good. That's my sister, she did that. It is on my Amazon, I will link it down below in the description, thank you. If you decide to like or subscribe, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And if you comment, I would love to hear what you think of Dorio, whether you agree or disagree. I love hearing everybody's opinions on this show and its characters. I always learn things from you guys, so thank you for taking the time if you do decide to comment. I appreciate it. Please do. I will see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.